Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the third episode of Season 7 of Red Dwarf. This one is entitled Ouroboros. Or Ouroboros. I know there's a... I believe it's in this episode, actually. Where they say it differently, so it confuses me. I don't know what the proper pronunciation is. But <clears throat> I feel like I need to cough. Apologies. I think I've got the edge of a cult. If my voice sounds weird on the microphone, I do apologise. But I feel weird about this episode because... There's no Rimmer. Rimmer left last time to become the new ace. Then we had some great moments in that. It was funny. It was emotional. The moments between Lister and our Rimmer was beautiful. Like the hug at the end was so sweet. The fact that Rimmer went in to hug him. Like I've always said, they're like brothers. They're allowed to make fun of each other. But when something when they each each other's sad or like some that or something else something big's happened they do they are nice to each other in a way in their own way and it's really sweet and it's gonna be weird not having that dynamic anymore at least for now anyway don't know when don't know how long for I, I do not know and i'm i'm gonna be so excited when he comes back i will be oh so happy but we got this one and i'm nervous about it because it's been over 20 years since I've watched it. Probably 20... When, when did this come out? Was it 98 or 99 or 97? I, I'm not sure. But it could be even 25 years since I've watched it. Literally, it's been... Over 20 at least. But I think this entire... Well, most of the season, if not all of it. So, I'm nervous. We're going to get going... Because I can't think any more about what to say. <laughs> I don't know. But as this is a big episode, with all episodes actually, but if there's anything in here that I've not reacted to or you just want to see a full-length reaction, you can find those over on Patreon. And you can find the episodes up to two weeks early as well. And we're going to get going. If you enjoy this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, that's Lister, isn't it? Oh, yes. This is where he was found as a baby. All right. Anyone serving or what? <sighs> oh, that I recognise that actor. I swear I do. But that's baby Lister in the anti-graph pool. Underneath the anti-graph. Or the graph pool. Graph. I thought he was anti. I don't know why. But he found the baby Lister. Hello, Frank Pest. What can I get for you? Look at this. I just found it under the pool table. Any notes? No, nothing. Aww. <laughs> oh, look at little Lister. Al Rob or Ross? They could didn't decide Rob or Ross. He must have been thicker than a ticket tells what. <laughs> oh, poor little mite. Poor little thing. He's so cute. Look at Lister. <laughs> Lovely transition. At the same time, oh god. Stuff. See? Uh, and here. Oh, oh, oh no. No! <laughs> hey, hey, oh, so I hate watching it. Ugh. Smeg. I've just sneezed out my cap. Oh, that's right, yeah. I thought I'd change your linen before you turn in That's one thing I think it's about this season at some point, is some, them two for, on that bed folding towels, I think. The one you made from the skeleton in the medivay. Oh, I see. The skeleton? Hey. It is. I didn't get over there. It must have bounced. No, I, I look all needly, pointy and disgusting. Let me see, sir. I'm a mechanoid, for goodness sake. Really? You're, you're who? You're you. Oh, my God, it's <laughs> hideous. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take about half an hour to prepare some dental adhesive. I'll give you some wood glue. You can redo it in a moment. Oh no! Of course, he's got wood glue in the cupboard on a spaceship full of metal. But then again, I guess he probably um is um need a dressing gown. Um, well, that's what I thought. guitar and that. You know, I thought if I. Remove the trim, uh, let it out a little oh, bit. Oh, love it, Lister. Oh, God. <laughs> He's not doing that well this morning, is he? What is wrong with me? 
<laughs> it's cat gonna work in now and see him like, what? There, hey, right? I was right. Nice outfit. Is he coming here for a reason? Oh, oh yeah. Something showed uh -huh. up on the long range scan, which is weird with a capital W. With a capital W. Is it a wibbly thing or a swirly thing, sir? At this early stage, uh -huh. I can't commit myself and wind Ooh. up looking a fool. Come see for yourself. Shit. Wibbly thing or swirly thing. You got a simple fight for cat. He gets his point across. He's losing it. He really is. <laughs> oh, whoa. It's some kind of power surge that's causing a cool. major disturbance in the fabric. Of it's so time. cool seeing Starbug this much. Like, the cockpit's a lot bigger than it used to be. I suggest we treat it like a tidal wave. Shit. Sir, and head straight for the eye of the storm. It's worth a try. You've got to be careful. But I'm picking up some kind of subspace energy disturbance down on the engineering deck. Shit, I think I... Yeah, yeah, I think I remember. According to the size scan, uh -huh. the membrane between two realities has temporarily collapsed. That's right! Non-space to a parallel dimension. You want to be extremely careful. Like that? I'm sorry, but sort yourself out first, Lister. You don't, You want to make a good impression? Love that cat. Jeez, that made me jump. Careful, sir. The linkway's about as stable as an Italian taxi driver who's got stuck behind two old priests in a Skoda. Wow, that's very specific. How's it going? You're a hologram. Hard light. So in your dimension, Lister died in the radiation leak that wiped out Red Dwarf. Remember coming back from shore leave on Mimas? I had a couple of days off uh -huh. to get over Kachansky. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Oh, we can see that. Oh, the Rimmer! We missed him. And he's got his old style ha um, haircut. Kachansky dumped you. Yeah. She really dumped you? Yes. Hey, calm down, Rimmer. You should have told me. Are you really heartbroken? <laughs> he's so excited. I miss him already. I'm so glad we got him in this episode. Didn't I tell you you'd never bridge that class division? Take her. Stop being so mean. It's Rimmer. He's always mean. I don't suppose you've read my proposal for a new Space Corps salute. I love that with the goodbye, they all did the proper salute. It's awesome. Have sex with someone and that's an order. Yes, ma'am. Right, right. Here, ring this number. Say I sent you. Tell them it's an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Sorry, I completely forgot. Seems like years ago. It really? was last week. Was he? Mm-hmm. Must have got over it. Just like that. Oh, she knows that's a lie. Don't just leave your stuff there. Look, there's more to life than hanging out in your bunk, eating delivery curries and having fantastic sex. Have they ever actually ended up together? Or am I misremembering? You can um, correct things in hindsight and that, can't you? And adjust things. Oh, there it is. Do you know what you get for smuggling a cat on? It's not just any cat. That's not just any cat. That's the... The... What? This... Created all the cats and our cats. How dangerous it is to smuggle in an unquarantined. Frankenstein, that's the name. No! <laughs> oh, how can you with that face? Frankenstein, but if that happened, of course, that wouldn't be there with them, would it? Just don't get caught or I'm out cold for six months, okay? And that she gets caught. So what happened to Kachansky? They found the cat and she got six months in stasis. So does that mean? There she is. Oh, Lister. You look pretty amazing yourself. <laughs> so in this dimension, you didn't die. You're an alternate version of Dave. Y yeah, well, pretty I much. Well, I as a definitive version, you know? <laughs> Home to perfection by time and evolution. Obviously, obviously. What an outfit to meet Kachansky <laughs> in. And the fluffy slippers I forgot. I suggest we might spend some of that time exchanging supplies and information. Good idea. You can update your hydrogen ram drive to attack Ooh. the powered engine core. And in return, maybe we can unscrew all those old pickle jars you can't open. <laughs> At some point, I'll want to have children. Uh-huh. It's a slightly pervy thing to ask, especially seeing as we've only just met. Now, she wants a donation, not intercourse. Perhaps you could... Yeah? Fill this up. <laughs> yeah, had a feeling. So it worked out for you guys then. Congratulations. <gasps> Shit. Gulf ship. Somehow they managed to oh, gals. Shit, a chance. Go, but. 
Chris, give me a hand. Hand on to my feet, man. <sighs> Somebody's got to get her. We know who. Just grab onto someone. Anyone. Come on, Lister. Wow, that is extra strength. Floss. <gasps> oh, there's teeth. Oh, I can feel that. Come on, Lister. It's Kachansky. Can she jump across? Not now. Shit. I didn't know. I thought they got to do a few things before this all happened. I didn't realise this. it was going to happen like this. I thought there was more to it. Oh, is that all the interaction there is? I thought I'd lost you. Uh, wrong one. Hey, we tried to tell her. What were you saying? Forgetting. Okay, now he's a bolt. Oh, dear. Uh, sir, I think uh, Miss Kachansky is under the delusion that you're... Not now, Crichton, man. No, but you don't understand me, sir. You see, Miss Kachansky thinks that you're... I'll handle it, okay? Now go make some sweet tea or something. Oh, she's he's going to get a right slap. This isn't the Medibay. I think you must have mistaken me for your Lister. Oh, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along, sir. Were you? <laughs> I was going to tell you honestly. Just, they really? always taught me in school it was rude to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Wait, you mean I'm stuck here with you? Priscilla, Queen of Deep Space? Ha! <laughs> Love that movie. It's back on our tail. What is it? Some Gelf battle cruiser. Okay. Send a scan, sir. Take a look. Is it the missus? It's the missus. Oh my god, it's the missus. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lister's Gelf bride. We all went to the wedding. It was just beautiful. It's a very long, interesting story to tell her. We were in a bit of a fix. We needed an engine part. You should visit the orangutan house at London Zoo sometime. Your eyes will be out in stalks. <laughs> I'm hope I can remember. Actually, I can't remember what I thought. Actually, I was going to say if I wasn't that keen on her, but I'm not entirely sure if I was or not. I'm just a bit indifferent. Hopefully, I like her a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's of course. The MCN and I'll lay down an SS line. Oh, what? 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 Quadrant 49 at 2, stroke G87, moving across to quadrant 2 to Q41, stroke 9. Just follow my chords. Your chords? Coordinates. Is that a problem? Now, you're not talking about trousers, are you? <laughs> Coordinates! Thank you. Oh, she sounds a bit more capable than. A, I think Rimmer went bad, but she seems to know what she she's doing. Oh, nice and miniature work. 20 degrees starboard on this next bird. Okay. She's going to be an interesting addition. But they're away from the thing that Adam attached, so she's got no way back now, has she? Still no sign of Miss Kachansky's ship, sir. I think this is the scene I was thinking of. It's hardly my place to point out what a bossy old trollop she is. Lovely. Initially a soft light hologram, and that's like ours. sensitive and caring in a way most men aren't. What, you mean he can remember anniversaries and stay awake for several seconds after sex? <laughs> He's every woman's dream guy, sir. He's a, a human male who's prepared to have in-depth discussions about relationships. He's like, is that me? It's a very different... Don't leave me. Well, that leaves you. Oh, Christ. Yeah, this is the scene I've been remembering. I just wasn't sure when it happened. There, Can't yeah, this is the scene. Oh, Crichton. Terrible. She's gonna take you away from me. Oh, I've seen her naked. <laughs> She's got all those in and out bits that you like. <laughs> no matter what happens, you and me, we're compadres. And me, yeah. But that's all I'm waiting for the one line. So if she walked in here now and, and took all her clothes off and said, Ooh, make love to me, you horny dude. <laughs> What kind of sheets would they be? Well, those nice cotton ones with the pattern. What, the blue stripey ones or the green square ones? I love the fact he said the difference. So it's making love to Kachansky or folding sheets with you. Difficult choice, Mister. Folding stuff. Absolutely. Uh, but the sheets then. Oh. And she's standing there all <laughs> naked with. I love this moment between them. It's one of my favourite bits. You and me, hospital corners. Here it comes. Here it comes. Say the line. Say the line. <laughs> I've been waiting since I started doing it to hear that line. I just love it. 
He was perfect. He didn't have any in and out bits hardly at all. Hardly? I mean, he had some. I don't want to know. I'd never dump you like she did. Never. And that's Aww, not going to change. Never. Never. You're you. You're lying. lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end up on my own again. Just like Oh, no. That will never happen. Well, what about before that? It was the same on the SS Augustus. And they all died of old age. <laughs> you see? Oh, Crichton. It is weird seeing him in a metallic thing. It, it, I keep noticing it. I can't help it. I'm sure it's something to do with electromagnetic phasing frequencies. The cat's like, yeah, where? It's right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> reversing the signal. We'll need a power route in the auxiliary power drives. It's I'll somebody that. that knows what to say about things like Crichton does. You don't like me, do you? <laughs> Mom? You don't, do you? Mom, I think it would be more efficient if we spent our energies trying to re-establish the linkway. That's what you're doing. I need to know why. Do you indeed? Yes. Well, you're not good enough for him. That's all. Oh, he's so possessive of him. You've got big problems, you know that. <laughs> well, at least I don't have a ridiculous walk, unlike some people. At least I don't walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> what are we celebrating exactly? <laughs> you found your crewmates at last. How wonderful. Thanks, Crichton. I must go and find the others. The others, there's one other. One other. He's, but he's still used to saying others and referring to Rimmer. I think that's why I spent most of my early life drifting, you know. He just didn't know I didn't anything. I to live up to because I didn't know who I was, where I came yeah. from. Yeah. I'll look after it. You know I will. Yeah, I know. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was too tender a moment. We needed some fun. What's this? Supplies from Bud Babe's ship. No, this. Oh, it's the symbol for infinity. Yeah, a Roboros. Or a Boros. I can't remember which. I say or Roboros because or Rob or Ross. It wasn't or Rob or Ross. It was a Roboros. What was? A message that was written on the side of my box. You came in a box? Yeah. That explains everything. Yeah. <laughs> I understand now. Explain, sir. The in vitro tube, the one Kachansky's got. The frozen embryo. It's me. I'm my own father. Yeah. And Chris is my ex-girlfriend and my mum. That's kind of gross to think about. Of the Playboy, but I bet you anything it'll get printed. Quite probably. <laughs> Mum, wait! <laughs> That's be careful. It's what? Shit, it's failing again. Gelp her back. What are you doing? I'm gonna jump. No. Christine! We've lost her, sir. No! Hi, it's me. Hi. I've decided to stay and save my life, okay? How? Go, go, Ben, look in now. Well, hurry the hell up. Some mountaineering equipment for Miss Kachansky's ship, sir. Who spoke? I thought it might come in handy next time you run into your wife. Fair point, fair point. You've got about 20 seconds before I'm out of reach. You're probably out of reach already. Oh, nice, that much better. Oh, God, I just remembered. Into leg. Uh, hold on to the rope. Hold on to the rope. Yeah, that's what I remembered. Oh, she's gonna be pissed off. Oh dear. It's an obscene phone call, sir. I think it's for you. <laughs> I bought you a drink, but don't think for one minute it means I've gone all mushy on you. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. And work out a way of re-establishing that It's gone, place. love. It's too late, Mom. The, the rip's self-repaired. We're stuck with you! <laughs> I'll try anyway. Can she walk on that leg, though? Oh, Mom. Yes, Crichton? <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> I love that look. <laughs> and they've gone back. He's a dad. To himself very 18 months okay so they took some time to do it or you think that you were abandoned but you weren't man oh i like these tender moments with him because ballista can be so sweet and like gentle when it comes to it the human race can never become extinct we're like a, a kind of holding pan i love that oh he's so cute I'll see you soon that's so sweet. 
He's got those two, but he's also got Jim and Baxley. Oh, you get to see the baby's toes. That was him. Is that it? Nice. I want to see her name in it, because I can never remember her name. Oh, Rimmer's name's still in it. Chloe in it, that's it. I always remember Claire Grogan. Can I can, I could not remember her name. It was nice seeing Rimmer like, one little bit. But I will say, I enjoyed her a lot more than I remember enjoying her. At least from that episode. Like... I still see Claire Grogan's face when I think Kachansky. I cannot help it. But I really liked I really liked her and I liked that episode. It was a fun episode. I couldn't remember like I get now why I thought, hang on, that interaction was a lot longer than I thought when it, she obviously was first over on our Red Dwarf. It's because my in my memory, because I couldn't quite remember the episode. I put when they reestablished Link together, and it makes sense now, but I really like that one. How did our Lister, but anything that was similar to our Lister, become her Lister? He's a lot different, but our Lister's got the potential to be. He's nice, as I said, nice, sweet, and stuff like that. But maybe that Lister had a bit of a different situation. It's like he might not have been entirely the same. But it seems like the like the divergent point is when she took Frankenstein. Went to incinerate him, her, sorry. I get confused because Frankenstein. But, and then she got caught. Instead of Lister managing to keep it hidden. But I, I didn't think they ever actually probably got together. I must, I might be misremembering that or they've done like, oh, what's it called? I can never remember what it's called where they just like rewrite things that have happened in that and they just like change the word. It's, I can see the word, but I can't see it enough to say it and it's pissing me off. But again, I really like that one. Really funny. I, I've been waiting for, you're lying, since I started doing it. I don't know why that just always sticks in my head. I love it. I just love Crichton when he does that kind of thing. But I, that scene is out of the way. Um, I can remember one other thing to do with a bath with her. And that's, as far as I can remember, pretty much it off the top of my head. That's the one that's distinctive. I think there's other stuff, but not enough that I can, like, even, like, picture it if I close my eyes. I, like, I might be going, oh, God, yeah, this bit, and stuff like that. But I can remember a bath tub. Or a version of a bath tub that they somehow do, but I don't know how that happens, and I don't know. I can't remember anything else at the moment. But yeah, I definitely liked her a lot more than I thought I would. She seems fun, like she's going to be fun. It's interesting without Rimmer, it's going to be a different dynamic. I cannot remember how much that dynamic changes. And I'm interested to see, but I would love to know what you guys thought of her, her introduction, seeing Rimmer again, and all the other bits as well. And um, if you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick, you'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.